I'm going to show you how you can set up Active Directory delegation so that you can grant permissions to specific users, enabling them to manage parts of your Active Directory. So by default, a standard user account can view Active Directory and can view the users and computers within it, but they can't actually make any changes. So I'm currently logged in as a standard user, which is my user account, and the only group that it is a member of is domain users. So it's a fresh account with no permissions, and I can load Active Directory users and computers. I can view user accounts and computers, but I can't actually make any changes. So if I go to it, it's all blanked out. If I try and add a user to a group, it won't actually let me do that. It will give me a permission error. And the same as if I try and reset a password, it will give me an error to say that I do not have permissions to do that. So I've got access denied. Now what we can do is we can delegate permissions to my user account to do specific tasks within Active Directory. So if I move over to my domain controller and then load up Active Directory users and computers, the first thing I want to do is create some security groups that we can assign the permissions to. So we can just drop users into the groups and they get whatever permissions we give the groups. So if I create a new organizational unit and I'll just call this AD permissions, And then within our AD permissions OU, we can create a group called um, SG AD password reset. So for this example, I'm going to give my user account permission to reset passwords for users, and that's all it can do. So we've got our password reset security group, and in there, I will add my standard user account. And then now we can delegate permissions to this group. So the way it works is you can either assign the permissions to the root domain by right clicking the, and going to delegate control, but that will delegate it to every organizational unit within it. Or you can narrow it down to specific OUs. So I want to set it so that that security group can only manage users with inside this users OU. And it's the exact same process. We just right click and then go to delegate control. And then we can just press next on the wizard. And then now we can select what groups and users we want to manage. Now, even though you can do users, I would recommend you never actually delegate permissions to a user. You always do it to a group. So if I find my password reset group, enter that in there and then press next. Now we can actually set the permissions we want. There are a couple of common tasks which you can just click or you can go to a custom task and there are hundreds of options you can select from in there, but that's a bit out of scope. I'm just going to show you how you can actually delegate control. So in this one, we're going to select reset user passwords and force password change and next logon. So that's the only thing that this group will be able to do. So we can select that and press next and then press finish, and then that will grant permissions to that security group. So if we right click the users OU and go to properties, you may have to come to view and then select advanced features. So if you right click the OU users and then come to security and then advanced, we'll be able to see that our security group has got reset password access, as well as this, this blank one, which yeah, it gets given automatically. So now in theory, any user that is within this security group will be able to reset passwords for users within this OU. So if I come back to my standard PC, which has got our Active Directory user computers on it. So if we log off and then log back on, it will refresh our permissions and then we should be able to manage the account. So now we've logged back on. If we open up Active Directory again, and then try and reset the password for this test user. And then if we type a new password in, select user must change password, next logon, and press okay. 
we now have permissions to reset the password. And then just to confirm, I'm still logged in as me. This is running as me. And we've been able to reset the password when before we didn't have the permissions. Now, if we go into the user account, we still can't actually modify any of these fields. If we try and add the user to a group, it won't actually let us. It'll still say we don't have permission. So all we've done is given anyone within this security group access to modify the password of anyone within this OU. Now, there is one thing to bear in mind is that let's try and reset the password for this admin test account. So if I try and reset, and then press OK, we're going to get an access denied. Now, that should work because it's within this user's OU, but let's see why it doesn't. So there are a couple of groups within Active Directory that are pre that are pre-built, such as the administrators, and I think domain admins is one. So there's the administrators, and I think there's domain admins, and then there's print operators, and a handful of other groups which are protected and privileged groups. So what that does is if a user is a member of any of these administrator groups, in the attribute editor, it sets this admin count as one. Now what this does is this essentially applies extra protection to this user account. And one of the things it does is if we come to security and then advanced, it disables inheritance on the account. So if you'll notice, there's no security permissions here for that security group that we just created. Whereas if we go back to my user account and then go to security and then advanced, we've got the uh, security group admit security group AD password reset. And the same with the test user, because these are set to inherit the permissions of the group that they're in. So because this other user account, this admin one, the inheritance is disabled, it does not get the user account, which enables users within this group to manage it. So that's just something to bear in mind if the user account is in an administrator group, or even if it has been in an administrator group before and it's now been removed, just removing the user from the group doesn't set this attribute back to one and it doesn't re-enable the security to enable inheritance. So you'll still need to actually use a an administrator account to reset the password of these protected user accounts. So that is how you can create a security group within Active Directory and then delegate permissions to that security group to complete tasks within Active Directory.